Welcome to the seventh video on blind 75 problem. And this prob the seventh problem is going to be the similar to the to the first six in the sense that it's related to arrays and hash maps. And this problem is called products of array discluding self, basically. So what do we need to do in this problem? Quite simply, we get a number array, and ju just like all the uh, most of the problems previously, we get a number array and we return an output array basically. And in this case, we're acting, uh, doing certain processing on the input and th that those process numbers are going to be our output. Each product is, in this, the, the one of the aspects that's given to us that each product is guaranteed to fit in a 32-bit integer. To explain this problem, let's move to the, uh, let's move towards the uh, whiteboard. The important aspect to this problem that we need to understand is that we need to solve it in O n time. Just keep this in mind. Uh, first, I'm going to explain this problem, but as you move uh, as you move forward, you'll see why this particular aspect is important. So we have an array which has number one, which has number two, which has four and which has six, right? This is the array we have, potentially. I am just trying to explain how, what we need to do in this particular problem first. With this array that we have here, we need to get uh, create an output array that returns the number 48, we need the number 24, We need the number 12 and we need the number 8. We have these numbers. We need to understand how do we get from the input array here to the output array here. That's quite simple. So if we, uh, in this array, we need to place values corresponding to their position. So once, if we, uh, the process that we need to undergo here is that if we have one, that's the first element of the array. We need to exclude one and then multiply two into four into six, right? So six, uh, two into four is eight, eight into six is 48. And the multiplication of those three values is, as you can see, 48. That is how we need to calculate value. So if we have in the first index place, excluding one, we multiply all the elements of the array and then place them in the position one is. Similarly, when we have number two, what we need to do is we need to multiply, we need to exclude two, we need to multiply one into four into six. That is basically 24. And the answer of that is here, as we can see in the second position where two was excluded, we multiply the rest of the elements and the answer 24 was placed in the position of two. Similarly, if we have four, we select four, we cross that out from our calculations, we multiply one into two, and then we multiply the output of that with six, and the final answer from that is placed into position number three of the output array, which is 12. Similarly, if we had six, we will multiply one into two into four, which is going to be placed in the last position where six is because we are excluding six in the calculations. So that is basically what we need to do. And the reason uh, I think at this point we, we we understand exactly what we need to do in this problem. So now let's move towards the basic explanation of this problem. So let me add write these numbers again. So we have one, then we have two, then we have four and six. So we have these values here in the array. As you can see on the screen, we have a much more, you know, uh, st structured array here. We have numbers. This is the array. Then we have pre, post, and output. And we'll go over the entire cycle, the proper algorithmic logic 
using these four columns. Just keep these minds in the positioning of these uh, arrays. So this is prefixes, this is postfixes, and this is output. So potentially, the, in a, an easier solution to this problem would be uh, that we just simply uh, uh, have multiply all these digits, which equal to the multiplication of all elements in the array equals to 6 into 4 is 6, 12, 18, 24. 24 into 2 is 48. 48 into 1 is 48. So the total value here we have is 48. So the most easiest method, I am, I'm sure you are familiar with this, you might, this might be popping into your head, is that we simply, what we do is the total uh, multiplicate product of the and all elements in the array, we divide them with, let's say, in the first case, it would be 1, right? So uh, 1 is the, f uh, one, we need to exclude 1 and multiply all 3. So what we could simply do potentially is divide 48 by 1, we get 48, uh, we get, uh, uh, then, then that, so the first process is done, then we divide 48 by 2, then we get 24, then we divide 48 by 4, we get uh, 12, and then we divide 48 by a 6, and we get 8, right? So we have these values here, and that should be an e easier answer. Like, you know, quite simply, this is, this is the easiest way to implement this array. But that is not how we can do this problem. We need to go back, remove all of this, but we can't do that. Because again, we have this particular aspect that I mentioned uh, in the start. We need to solve it in O of n. And we can't solve it in O of n if we use that very, very easy and simple um, a logic that we just went over. So if we can't do that, how do we handle this? So what we would do is we need to take the products of each number. For, for each number, we need to pro uh, product for each number's prefixes and each number's postfixes. So one has no prefixes, so we do a default prefix of 1, right? And then 1's uh, postfixes are 2 into 4 into 6, which is uh, basically 48. So the postfix is 20, 48. So the answer, we multiply pre and postfixes together, is the, uh, is, is the answer we need to get, which is 48, right? Similarly, we do uh, the same case for the other one. So before 2 is 1, so the uh, prefix of 2 is 1. Uh, post uh, fix for 2 is uh, 24, and so the answer we get is uh, 24 into 1 is 24 as well, right? And then we have another here, the post fixes for the position uh, number 4 is 2, and the, uh, sorry, the prefix is 2, post fix is 6, the answer is 12. Similarly for 6, we have the prefix at, uh, at uh, basically and 8, yeah, the prefix product is 8, um, and uh, postfixed uh, uh, postfix uh, product is at, uh, you know, uh, is at 1 uh, by default, so the answer is going to be 8, right? So that is basically the answer, but this process is on only has a memory efficiency of O of n. I mean, potentially, this is the correct solution, meeting all the requirements, but it isn't the optimal solution, and the uh, O and F notation only meets the memory requirement here. So what is the best way to do this then? Right? The best way to do this is basically, or do uh, all do all of this in just this output array. So we take one here. We take all these values one by one to uh, to the output array, right? And then we do the opposite and multiply these values, and the default value would obviously come here, right? And then we multiply, uh, and this is going to be multiplied by the default value. So 4 into 1 is going to be 4, right? Then we multiply 6 by the value that is stored here, which is going to be 2 into 6 is going to be 12, so on and so forth, right? So that is going to help us relatively solve this problem, right? So with that out of the way, now we can focus on the code that we need to use to solve this problem. So let's move back to the problem at hand. So let's expand the uh, code base here. And let's start by putting in our pseudocode, like, uh, uh, like with all examples. But even before that, first we need to understand 
and define the length of the nums value that we had array that we have here that now we'll start adding our pseudocode and uh, start solving the problem so our first pseudocode is going to be initializing the value of the output array right so uh, array and the output array let's set that up Basically, what we're trying to do in the output array is that we are multiplying it uh, by uh, by n to set the size of the output array. Uh, multiplying by one usually has no effect, basically. So, you know, uh, uh, bear that in mind. Then we say uh, to move to the next part of our code, which is our next pseudo code. Let's get that on the screen as well. Calculate the left products and store them in the output array. We need to calculate the left products, the prefixes first, and store them in the output array as we discussed uh, pre in the diagram earlier in the last logic that we were discussing. Variable called left product with a value of one. So we need a default value of one for values that do not have uh, anything left of them. Then we set up a for loop in which we uh, under the range we output place the output of the left left product and then we multiply the left product with the value of the nums at that particular position let's sort that out We now have the entire code base needed to, to uh, calculate the value in the first step. So now let's uh, set up uh, our next step two and the pseudo code we need to uh, write the code for in step two. So in step two, basically our pseudo code says that we need to calculate the right product, apply uh, and multiply it with the output array basically. So again, we need to create a, like a similar solution for that. So let's uh, set up the variable for right product first and the code, then the relevant code as well. So now the value is going to be slightly different for the for loop here, basically, uh, because we're going to go in the opposite direction. So we set the values and the steps for that operation in this so that it doesn't be specify everything so that it moves as intended in the opposite direction in the uh, in the loop and then we just uh, multiply the out current output in that position with the right product and then the value in the nums array as well so let me write that down So now we have the calculation for the right product as well. Now we just need to return the output value back to out of the uh, out, 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 out of the of the function. So let's run this and see if we solve the problem. So we have a syntax error here. Let me see. Check that case out. Give me a couple of minutes to see if we can resolve this error. Look at the issue again. Oh, 
left product here. So we have, so that is definitely going to throw an error. Let's run this again. Yep, and the answer is correct. So that is the solution to problem number seven of the blind 75 problems and seventh problem also in arrays and hash maps. Um, so, I mean, the logic is very, very simple if you want it to be, but our restriction makes it so that we need to go with a complicated logic. And the second logic, which I told you, although it meets the O of N requirement, memory requirement, uh, technically it also meets the O, uh, the other O and requirement because output array is not considered part of the O of O and N calculations. But to be, to meet this requirement properly, only the third method that we just solved this problem through is the correct answer to solve this problem. So with that, I'm going to wrap this video up and we'll see you in our next uh, Blind 75 problem. Thank you.